Today we'll be going over the Whitman Temporal Primus and Basic C TCU interface. The M is our mode button and it's used to switch between menus. The arrow keys are for changing the values in a menu. The snowflake button is used to activate and deactivate the cooldown function while in operation. The LEDs on the top row indicate if components or features are currently active. On the top left we have the heater icon. This is used to indicate when the heater element is active. Next we have the cooling LED indicator. This will come on if the unit's cooling valve is open. Next we have the pump LED indicator. This will come on if the unit's pump is active. Next we have the filling valve. This will come on if the unit's filling valve is open. After that we have the degrees Fahrenheit indicator light. This is illuminated if Fahrenheit is the temperature scale being used. The lower row are LED status indicators. You can cycle through these by pressing the mode key. On the lower left we have the actual menu. This will show the actual tank temperature. Next we have the set one LED indicator. Set 1 will be illuminated during standard operation. After hitting the mode key to show the set 1 temperature set point, the set point can then be adjusted by using the up and down arrows. Next we have the set 2 or cool down temperature LED indicator. Set 2 will flash when the snowflake button is pressed and stay illuminated when the set temperature is reached. After hitting the mode key to show the set 2 temperature set point, the set point can be adjusted using the up and down arrows. Next, the TOL menu shows the tolerance values. This can be adjusted with the up and down arrow keys. Tolerance monitoring will begin once the tolerance window is reached or after the tolerance monitoring delay has expired. The default value for the delay is one hour. Lastly, we have a dual purpose indicator. For the operating hours clock, total hours can be calculated by pressing the up arrow to get the thousands of hours value. Then, adding the down arrow additional hours value. If the flow measurement option is installed, the flow value will be indicated here. Pressing the up and down arrows simultaneously will display the total output pressure of the unit. On the 200 and 285 degree units, a three-way power switch is mounted on the front. The number one mode will operate the unit in positive pressure. The number two will enable vacuum mode. For 200 and 285 degree basic units, Q2, or the mold purge button, is located to the right of the main switch. Pressing this button while in vacuum mode will allow you to drain the mold set back into the temp control unit. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our Material Handling Service Department at 860-496-9603 extension 168. Thank you very much, and as always, enjoy your new Whitman products.